Okay, so welcome to my studio in my living room of my apartment. So what I decided to do is to make a quick video that showcases exactly how I run my business. I have an Etsy store and I intentionally have not cleaned up anything because I really want to encourage people that no matter where you're at, don't wait to start until you've got the perfect space. Don't wait to start your craft for this or for that. Stop making excuses and just do it because your space is never going to look like Pinterest. And this is what it looks like when I'm actually working. So um, I'll just show you a couple of things I've got. So these I got at Ikea. They're little strip lights. And they literally just have some adhesive backing. And I ran them all the way around. And I don't even remember, they're really inexpensive. So that's really what lights up my, my desk. Um, right now I don't have my overhead lights on. I do have these uh, string lights that I use for just some warm white lighting and then an adapter there for a wall. But I want you to see just how much those string lights or um, strip lights work. And they're very bendable, pliable, and you can also cut them to length, which is great. And they just turn right on and off here with the switch. So that's an awesome feature. And I keep, it's really important if when you're working to keep everything in arm's reach that you can. So um, a cheap DIY hack are these pegboards. My mom actually made all these for me and hung them on the wall. So as much as I can, I hang my tools, sorry, I was gardening. I hang my tools on the wall itself. And uh, heat gun, absolutely mandatory. And this is awesome, Ryobi portable glue gun. You just use your Ryobi batteries from um, your Ryobi tools. And then this is about 30 bucks and you don't have to worry about stupid cords and always like not being able to reach far enough with your glue gun. Here is a Lazy Susan that is awesome. I got this also at Ikea and I can't believe, I was actually gonna make a project for a friend with it, but it didn't end up working out. So I just put some of my pens and stuff on here and it has been one of my favorite um, organization things. And then also it's fun to have something pretty to look at. So here are my glowfish, my dog Gordon, an order that's getting ready to ship out. And then um, back on the, along the lines of utilizing every inch of space um, in reaching distance, I also have my boxes down here that are full of supplies, and they are on uh, rollers. And those are also from Ikea. You get them in like the kids' organization section for like toy storage, and they are, they're great. So that's really it. You know, we we built this whole system um, with a couple of hundred dollars. We also put up this piece of plywood here that runs across the length of the two um, shelves so I can store more stuff up there, stuff that I don't use as frequently. And then just some little hooks here and then I can dangle down stuff that I want. I put a little piece of rod here for my binder clips and stuff that I use all the time. And that is it. Um, paper storage. That is my studio, my workspace. And it works. So I just encourage everybody to just make what you have work and don't wait for it to look perfect. I mean, my TV is on a chair, for goodness sake. <laughs> but the space is mine and I pay for this, my apartment. I don't have a living room. This is my living room. I pay for this by making my art with my own two hands sitting right here. So that's something to be proud of. All right, I gotta get back to work. Bye.